What would you describe LSPI as? Uh, give us a general industry understanding of what this phenomenon sure. is. Well, the industry's still trying to come to grips with exactly what it is, but essentially it's understood just to be a pre-ignition event of the fuel in the combustion uh, chamber. So what's happening is, is, is the piston's coming up, you have a uh, auto ignition happening inside that cylinder. And this thing can happen as a car's going down the road, it can happen 100 times a minute uh, in some cases. So this thing is uh, very bad in the sense that it can cause catastrophic failure after even one occurrence. Yeah, yeah, the piston moving up as the, the fuel combusts, that's what we used to refer to as NOC. Yeah, actually, uh, this thing sometimes can be termed as super knock or mega knock, um, and also the auto ignition that uh, LSPI that, that we're talking about here today. Okay. Is, is the oil playing any kind of part in potentially causing the LSPI? It actually can. You know, in a good formulation for an oil, you're going to have all kinds of uh, additives in there, detergents, dispersants. Uh, some of those actually have been found uh, to help increase uh, the chance of having an LSPI event. So um, you definitely want to uh, consider those things uh, while we're looking at this. So now let's take a look at a quick video. We're going to be talking about in this video exactly what the oil droplet theory is. And the oil droplet theory is, is that an oil droplet gets formed and gets ejected into or propelled into the combustion chamber, thereby causing low speed pre-ignition. So the video is paused right now because we also want to highlight a couple other areas. So if you look at the top right of this um, cutaway of a cylinder, you'll notice a silver object that has a tip going directly into the combustion chamber. That's the fuel injector. So as you watch this video, notice where the fuel is getting sprayed, hence gasoline direct injection. The other area that uh, we also want to highlight is, is that the red area at the top left is going to be the exhaust. And then the area that uh, is uh, white and then it will occasionally turn blue is the cold air getting sucked or forced into the combustion chamber. So let's go ahead and play this video and then we'll pause it in some key areas to point out a few concepts. So what we're doing here is we're compressing the air in the combustion chamber. So exactly how a uh, internal combustion engine works is it compresses air. So as we're zooming in here, the fuel is getting sprayed in, and then let's just pause it here real quick and let's talk about what's gonna happen next. So what's gonna happen here is, is that the piston will move all the way down to what we call bottom dead center. And at the bottom, it's gonna actually come for a very brief instant to complete rest. So it's not moving up nor down. So as that piston moves back up, what's gonna happen is, is that the piston rings, which you see, um, slide against the piston or the uh, cylinder wall and that is a forming a tight seal against any gases going down into the oil so as the piston travels upwards those rings slide along the cylinder wall and the cylinder wall is actually highlighted here with a brown uh, film that brown film is illustrating using um, uh, oil here and so as the piston moves down it's going to uh, create the oil droplet as it moves back up. So as it moves back up, the oil droplet here is orange and it's hot. So that moves to the top and causes a spontaneous combustion or an auto ignition and also called a low speed pre-ignition event. And that event overpressurizes the cylinder and causes catastrophic failure of the piston.